Who here likes reading? The smell of a good new book or the feeling in your hands here when you have an e-book on your iPad. Well, maybe not really, but books are still great. Even if you don't like them, at least we all like stories being told to us through movies or television. But how many Chinese stories do you know now? The most famous ones are these. Water Margin, Journey to the West, Romance of the Three Kingdoms and Dream of the Red Chamber. These four novels form the core of Chinese classical literature and still inform modern culture today. As with Dante and Shakespeare in Europe, they are cornerstones of Chinese literature. You might have heard of just one of those stories, Journey to the West. As for the other three, even I know very little about them actually. You might also have heard of Marco Polo, even if it's just a game you're playing when you're in the swimming pool. Some of the history we know of ancient China comes from Mr. Marco Polo himself. But that can be quite boring for some of us as well though. How about Star Wars then? How about Star Wars? Yeah. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? Well, wait. Uh, now some of us might like books or movies. More sci-fi-ish. Stuff like The Hunger Games or Star Wars, there we go. And other stories with dystopian themes are more attractive to some audiences. China has actually got some really famous and great sci-fi authors. Let's look at one and maybe some short stories as well in this video. Ken Liu here. The guy is an American citizen now as well, but he is also responsible for a lot of the translating and finding of Chinese science fiction authors coming out from China mainland. He's even been recruited to write some of the Star Wars scripts actually, and one of his other novels will be making it onto the big screen next year. His translation of the novel The Three Body Problem won the 2015 Hugo Award, the first translated novel in the awards history to have won that honor actually. Other stories that he has collected have all been compiled into the Invisible Planets book. Folding Beijing by Hao Jingfan is great as it describes the city in the future separated by classes. Those in the lowest and the second lowest get limited time when their section of the city unfolds from the underground to allow them to come up and work and live for a short period of time. The highest class here and the government workers get additional time and better working and living conditions of a giant puzzle of life, basically. Chen Chou Fan's The Year of the Rat is a kind of what if terrible science experiments on rat went very wrong sort of story. It deals with giant rats that have gathered some slight intelligence and plague the countryside. Kids here have to go out as boy scouts to hunt them down. A bit crazy, but definitely worth your time still. We'll add a link to a few other stories as well in the description. In the meantime here, I want you to try and go out and watch the three body problem about nanotech and VR being like too real. It's based on another Chinese author, Liu Cixin's book. Lastly, keep an eye out for Ken Liu's movie series to come out based on his The Dandelion Dynasty novels. It's kind of Chinese Game of Thrones here actually. All in all, living in a sci-fi or fantasy world is appealing, but sometimes it can be a bit predictable as well. These books are definitely outlandish enough so that they have a very foreign feel to them, which is exactly the point of science fiction, isn't it? If you've got any other favorite sci-fi or fantasy books, Chinese or not, please let us know about it in the comments below and also tell us why you like them so much. Thank you very much for watching, and if you want more of what we have, please subscribe as well. I'm Felix, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to go.